Hello, Scorpio. It is time for your mid-November to December reading of this current year. Congrats. You survived your birthday so far. Oh, well, that's nice. Do you feel a little bit worn on the options you're given or like they're not helping you in a scenario you really don't know how to get out of a little bit? Like you feel like just giving up and letting the flames eat you alive. Dittos. Oh, looks like you need some temperance. Maybe even a Sagittarius since that's their card as well. Hope y'all are doing all right. I'm still doing personal reading, so if you want to hit me up with my email below. They're about $10, $15. Take that as you will. This shit's all jumpy for you guys today. Didn't jump for anybody else. Well, it's still your season, so they're probably uber excited, especially with the moon. Going into your sign, the new moon, and Scorpio. Oh, once again, maybe someone didn't feel like they needed to be patient. And they didn't work things out the way they thought they would with their little battles. They were just like, I win. It's like, oh, wait, I should have waited. Could be a scenario like that going on around you. I was all focused and then I ate an apple and now I just want to eat another one. I want more tacos but I ate all my tacos. And tacos are good too. No whammies. Okay, let's begin with this row. Hold yourself back from something. Maybe some communication as you're isolated. Okay. Someone is just not letting go of some shit. And just nagging someone to death. Like they won't let it die. They can't let it die. That is the beginning theme in all of this, right? Once again, like, you're another one who's got, like, two majors, like, totally one over the other, you know? Yeah, someone isn't letting something go. So, I'm going to read along as I clarify. We got the Five of Wands reverse, where no one's really focused on this gold wand up here. They're just all fighting and totally forgot about the purpose of it all. Possibly dealing with a Queen of Swords who is, or Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands who isn't being entirely honest with their emotions. She might even be emotionally immature, but that's under wraps with the High Priestess. That's being a secret right now. Then we have the Knight of Swords below that. In the situation where someone is retreating from conversation or they're giving out word salads. Oh, jeez. Because they are doing the Jesus Christ martyring complex with the whole thing. Like, they're not letting it go. They rather keep fighting and keep that shit on the wraps and like actually communicate to end like being stuck in this cycle, I feel like. Because I almost feel like with that circle, it is mentioned in the cycle, but it's also like the Jesus Christ pose a little bit to me. Like someone needing, need it, lead, listen. Someone not needing to be so dramatic about being in the situation like someone doesn't want to be honest about that situation my sleeves are pulling off everything hello kitten you got on these cards and you're dead oh there's my little girl yes she's all up in me face crumbling with disgrace not letting me finish my readings in place 
Can I? Do you mind? No, you're just gonna... Yeah? Could you, um... Kitten. Okay, come here. You get down. I love you, but... I gotta do this reading, man. Yeah, rub your face on the door. That's what she like to do. You rub the teeth. You love the face. Yes, you rub the teeth. Oh, huh? you almost closed the door. Look at you and your little butt go. Okay. But yeah, so I'm just keeping all of this like excessive fighting and missing the point under wraps. They don't want anybody knowing about it. And that's because someone isn't communicating in order to end this martyr complex right here. And someone's really restricting themselves because they don't want to say shit. <laughs> like, it, look at that, you know? Like, someone doesn't want to even have the conversation and the other person's keeping their mouth shut about it. And they're both facing the same way, so it's just like you're both doing the exact same thing. What's the point? And someone's restricting themselves and like running the other way, possibly even ghosting at this point, to be honest. About the entire situation, they, they're restricting themselves. With the hermit mode right here, where someone's trying to look inward, which is exactly the right thing to do because they want to figure out how they're going to respond to shit emotionally. This is like a lot of passion. Could be you, Scorpio. Could also be Cancer and Pisces, but someone is really looking at themselves to try to figure out how to offer their emotions up, but it's like, that's not the right thing to do, I guess. Because that's what's going against somebody, Scorpio. Maybe they don't know how to, like, deliver that, and they're trying to look inward to figure it out. And here, with this fear of no new beginning, with someone who wants to take off in the battle, might even be crashing with that king of wands. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's running off and not saying anything, because this person's charging in for a fight. Like, yeah, the knight of swords got his, his sword up, but he's less likely to clog you on the head than the knight of wands. You know, the knight of wands just, he's happy to gallop and just whack somebody on the head. And you're a lot of knights, mind you. But yeah, like, he, he's ready to ride off, he's ready to take off. Somebody's scared of a new beginning when it comes to this Knight of Wands. Uh, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius, possibly? Oop. And here we have this Queen of Wands down below, which is the final result and catalyst in all of this. Also, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, who is carrying around the crown of truth on her head? Or maybe she thinks she has a chip on her shoulder because she knows things, or she's aware of things, or she has a good idea of people's intentions. Like, she's very stable, standing very fair, trying to be very regal in her actions and regard, you know, like, she looks very comfortable with herself, too, very confident. And she's very aware of the truth of the matter of things. She might even be aware that, like, there's no beginning in this, and she might want to take off from that. Which is a fear for some of you, Scorpio. No whammies. Possibly enabling behaviors in all of this, right? Where someone might be a little bullying, but they're still moving on with some news or whatever. But there could be some enabling behaviors behind why someone is not letting something go. Maybe that is the enabling behavior. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Right? Wait. Ooh, the first of the three advice cards will be on all of this. Someone wants a new start, a new beginning. They're not hesitating now, Scorpios. There might have been a thermal situation involved, and someone's definitely being paranoid in the situation, looking for information to justify their paranoia. And they're looking over here at this enabling behavior which leading to somebody not letting something go, not letting something die. Constantly being on somebody, possibly, perhaps about whatever it is is going on right here. It's like someone's getting some I feel like someone's paranoid. And they are looking at this as justification for all of this. 
But that is your reading, Scorpio, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.